calculate the pH of a 0.01 molar solution of sulfuric acid, here's how you go about it. The first thing you need to know is that pH equals the negative log of H pluses. But how do we know how many H pluses there are? We do know. It tells us because we have a 0.01 molar solution of H2SO4. It tells you how strong the sulfuric acid is. Do you remember that? You remember this from last unit? And 0.01 molar equals 0.01 moles per liter. Remember this? Yep. Which is basically saying how many particles for how much water. Now, is H2SO4 a strong or weak acid? Sulfuric acid. Very strong. Which means 100% of the ions, or 100% of the H2SO4 molecules dissociate into ions in solution. 100% dissociation. So, however many moles we have, that's how many ions are going to be in the water. So this is pH is equal to negative log of 0 0.01. Okay. I'm going to go, we're going to do this again a couple times because you don't get it right now. It's okay. Now when they leave off the base, what is the B? 10. That's right. When they leave off the base, you can just draw it in as 10. Now this is the same thing as before. It's log b of x is equal to y just y is on the other side okay same thing as before what's b in this situation what's x 0 0.01 what's y it's ph right but there's one thing to be careful about we have a negative sign right here see that multiply both sides by negative one and you get negative pH, and that's actually what it should be. Y should equal the negative pH. Now you just do the same thing we did before with the equation. Plug it in, cross out the log, switch the X and the Y. You get B to the Y equals X. What's B? What's Y? Negative pH. And what's X? 0.01. Now, the cool thing about tens is that tens are really easy to do math with. You just got to move the decimal when you multiply it by times 10. So this is a little bit of math, but let me teach it to you really quickly. 10 to the 1 is equal to what? 10. 10 to the 2 is equal to what? 100. What's 10 to the 0? It's 1. 10 to the 0 is 1. Now look at the pattern here. What do you notice about the pattern? That first the decimal is here. Then the decimal is here. Then the decimal is here. Where do you think it's going to be the next time? That's right. So 10 to the negative 1 is equal to what? 0 0.1. That's exactly right. So what's 10 to the negative 2? And isn't that what we want right here? So what's the pH? It would be negative 2, but there's already a negative in front of it, so pH is just equal to what? pH equals 2. So at first, it looks really complicated. At first, you're like, oh my god, I have no idea what's going on right here, right? But then when you actually start writing the stuff down, it gets a lot easier. Make sure you write down all the things you know before you start each problem.